Welcome all to the Weekly Outlook. Boone here from Elliott Wave Pro. Getting straight into the Weekly Outlook, starting with the DXY. Uh, we got that extended Wave Y. Um, and if I just zoom in a bit here on this last piece down in here, um, like I've mentioned, we've broken below that low for the, the bull hidden. Um, we're still in this, like, we've got a WX. We're still in a wave Y. Um, I'll be looking for an X2 and then a Z down. Um, on the H4, we still don't really... Um, I've, I've classed this as a, the end of, like, an A, a B, and a C. And then we're getting that larger A, B, C in here. So it is still looking rather bearish. Um, at this stage, <laughs> we got this one down in here. That give us even more bullish divergence. Um, in here, I was looking for a buy to buy that. Um, I, I was hoping it would go from there. It, it didn't go. Um, so... You can sell this. Very risky because we have all that bearish divergence. But you are getting um, a sell here. You, you, If you're selling, you're just scalping, just breaking that low and getting out. It's like this. Um, you know, we've got a lower low, deep pullback. Um, so it'll probably just continue on like that. You know, and it could continue on like that for a long time. AU on the daily. So we're looking at that WXY X2 and a possible Z down. We need to break this level here to invalidate that it wave Z down um, because we do have that bear hidden here. On the H4, we've got three up. Um, we got that A, B, C. We've got all this bearish divergence. Ideally, on the H1, I'm looking for a correction here. Um, like we got all that bearish divergence and a lower low. So I am looking for a sell. If we zoom in here, really need to go down to the lower time frames and uh, wait for this correction to be over. Um, and then look for your cell set up. And you'll be targeting that wave Z down um, if this goes, uh, unless it goes up and breaks this uh, red line up here, which is the invalidation point. So we still may get that Z down on the daily. EU on the daily. Again, very similar to the XY. We've got that extended wave wire getting your X2 and we can look for that Z down. Um, but this one here has broken above that top there, um, taking out the possible bear hidden. On the H4, we got the wave Z up. We got this WXY X2 and we're getting that wave Z up. This doesn't look complete yet. Um, it's still looking rather bullish. We're not getting any impulse down. More than likely, there's more upside in this. It's very choppy with a lot of bearish divergence. I'm more interested in waiting for the sell. Um, but you could look at A. Um, we'd need to wait to see what sort of correction we're getting in here. This does look rather bearish in here. Um, it's very choppy. 
So you may get an A, B, C, but any cell setup I get, I'll be looking for the cell. Um, but on the H1, we may get some sort of an A, a B, and a C up to finish off that wave Z. G, U on the daily. Um, oh, I still got this on from the trade view idea. We got that W, X, Y. Looking for X2 and a possible Z down. Um, this one here has taken away the bear hidden as well. On the H4, like I've been saying for a couple of weeks now, we're looking for this wave Z up. Got that W, X, Y, X2 and the Z up. Pretty much, uh, if you're in this... You know, this was your trade set up in here. Um, buying up here is risky. It hasn't quite broken the top. It hasn't quite broken this top. Um, I'd expect it to break that top, <clears throat> and, and, and then we'll be looking for sells. Um, but I'll be staying out of the buys up here. I'm more interested in the sells after the uh, wave Z is over on the H4. And you, I've got that trading view idea out as well, which is still going. This one actually broke the top, um, very similar to GU on the daily. Um, the H4. We got that WXY, X2, and we're getting that Z up. This top here has been broken over there, so we are in that wave Z. Still is a little bit more room up to the targets. But any cell setup I get, I'm pretty much looking for the cells. Now, this may be uh, A, B, and we're getting a C up now. So if you do get any bullish setup, look for the buy um, up to the targets. U Y on the daily. So we got that extended wave again. Um, this one here we've broken, uh, taken out the bull hidden again, like most of the others. Um, <clears throat> we still can't get that wave set up, but it's becoming more unlikely now. Um, what I'm waiting for on the daily is a correction. If we get a correction, well then I can look for the sell. H4, we're getting all these. Well, nothing's really changed. We've still got the nine swing points down, like I mentioned last week, well, last few weeks, couple of weeks. Um, I'm really only looking for the buy. We've got all this bullish divergence. To sell into this is getting risky. Uh, looking at the last piece on the H1, we got that W, X, Y, X2, and I was looking for a Z down in here. Um, never, never got it. Instead, we're getting some sort of a correction in here. I, I'm i more interested in the buys. I hope it does come down here, gives us a Z down, and then, you know, gives us some sort of a buy setup to buy. Um, I'm more interested in the buy at this stage. Uh, the Swissy on the daily. This one still does have a look. I had a look at the time factor. Looking for a correction a similar size to this over here. There still is a little bit of a time factor here um, before we can get that Z up. <clears throat> but I've ruled out that wave Z up now because we've got this spike down taking out this low here. So we're not going to get a Z up. Um, that's invalidated the wave Z up. So I'm just looking for a correction. Ideally back to the 50 fib and then I can look for a sell. The H4. <clears throat> still don't really, it's 
been in this very slow corrective move in here. I sort of am looking at an A, B, C, and then it kept on going down. So I keep on extending it, you know, um, for a running flat. Um, really, you know, with all this bullish divergence, again, it, it's very risky to sell. Um, H1, we're getting all that bullish divergence as well. Um, this, you know, I did actually take this in here. Um, <sighs> hoping this was the end. More than likely, I'll get a break even out of it. It is at break even already. Um, but yeah, it, it's not going. Uh, more than likely we'll get another one down in here but I'm more interested in just looking for the buys um, the larger impulse is going to be to the upside so I want to trade in that direction uh, on the CAD USD CAD can pretty much <clears throat> I was looking at a WXY X2 and a Z up as an uh, extended wave Y For the like W X Y, and then an X two, and then a Z up. <clears throat> sort of rolling out this extended wave. <clears throat> excuse me, uh, and, and just looking at three. We may get another one up, but um, if it was going to go, I would have liked to have seen it go from here. Instead, it's giving a larger correction. The H4, like I mentioned, we did get that larger correction. We just got the one, two, three down in here. One, two, three. And then we're getting this choppy wave down. So this, all this is looking corrective. I'm really waiting for a buy setup. So, I mean, this is looking like a sell in here. You, you, know, you could scalp the sells. Um, I'm looking at a 335 pattern. Or three 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 complex correction, either one. Uh, for one two three one two three, and then we get five down in here, or three down in here, to finish off the correction. And then I want to take the buy. If I get any buy set up, then I want to look for the buy for the daily uh, wave Z up. G Y <clears throat> So <clears throat> excuse me, we got that five up, big correction, went up and broke the top, and now we're getting a W X Y. I'm looking for that X two and then a Z down. Like I've mentioned. We're starting to get that correction. Looking at the H4, we got that W, X, Y, looking for X2 and a Z down, looking for a correction of similar size to this over here. It's starting to give that. This may become more complex as an A, B, C, and then you get an A, B, C, um, and then fall over. May turn a little bit more complex. EG on the daily. Like I've mentioned, there's a couple of different ways we can look at this. We can either look at it as an A, B, C, and this is the flat here, and we get an A, B, C, like I had it. Um, or we get a more complex like A, B, C, and this is our flat here, and then we get the larger A, B, C. Down to this 100 fib. On the H4, <clears throat> we got the five up. We got that W, X, Y, X2, Z up. We got a lower low here, so I'm just looking for a correction. If this looks corrective, I'll look for the cell. But it may take like a week 
it'll probably take all next week in here and giving it that that correction um i'm gonna wait for the the correction to be over on the lower time frames and then you look for a sell uh looking at gold on the daily now like i've mentioned before this has the time factor so we're really looking at the uh month uh, weekly um because we've got the wave Y over here. This is the X2, and we're looking for that Z up, up to these first and second target, the 161.8 and the 123.6. It is starting, it had a slow start, but now it's it's starting to take off. We got the wave Z up. I mean, there's a couple of different ways we can look at this too. This may be an extended wave Y in here, and we get a W X Y extended wave Y, and then an X two, and then a Z up. I've got it as a W X Y X two and a Z up at this stage. We are getting all that bearish divergence. So, really, I need to see the 38 or 50 fib retrace before I can start to look for the buys to get the risk reward. Um more interested in you know we're getting all this bearish divergence on the h1 as well um this is still looking rather bullish up here though um you know but wherever this ends wherever this wave in here ends um i'll be looking for nice impulse down correction um and i'll look for the short back to the 38.2 and possibly that 50 fib. Um, but yeah, just really waiting on this one. It's too risky for me to buy it. Looking at silver, like I've gone over many times before, I'm looking at a, like a W, X, Y. Um, so we get one, two, three, one, two, three, and we've got that impulse down as the complex correction. I think it was this one. No. So on the H4, we're in this wave Y still. Uh, nothing's changed since last week. We'll, W, X, Y. We're still waiting for the time factor. Looking for a correction of similar size over here to trade that wave Z up. This is looking very corrective. So now it's really waiting for the time factor and then um, waiting for your buy set up after the time factor is complete. This is very choppy up here and very shallow. Um, looking very corrective. So WTI on the daily. So again, we're just waiting for a correction over here, a similar size. So we've got that WXY looking for the X2 and a Z down. This is an A. B, C in here as a running or expanding flat before we get that wave Z down. H4, here's a possible scenario I was looking at during the week. So we get a like a, an A. This went and broke the top for a B, looking for a running or expanding flat in here. And then we get an A, B, C. And then I can start to look for the cells. Um, I will be looking for a cell in here, uh, you know, to trade this down in here. We can trade this down in here and that up there. And this one down in here is the one we don't want to miss. But on the H1, it was starting to look nice. Um, we got that W, X, Y, X to Z up. We got all the bearish divergence. I was just, we've got a nice impulse down. I was just looking for a correction in here um, to sell. Instead, it's come quite deep. And it, given a buy set up in there, um, it's actually a buy now, but 
it never played out. You know, this is very deep. This correction here is very deep. So more than likely, it's just an A, B, C, some sort of a running, expanding, or um, regular flat. And then we get more upside, um, possibly up to this 100 fib. So it is difficult um, to trade at this stage. It's not looking, um, I mean, if we do get, nice breakdown here and a little flag, you know, I definitely will look for that sell. But this is becoming very deep. Bitcoin on the daily. So we're getting all this uh, very choppy down in here. Like I said, um, couple of weeks ago, well, a couple of weeks ago, you know, we need to break above that point um, for the buyers. This was looking, because I was looking at some sort of an A, B, C here um, for another one down. It's taken off, um, and this is the invalidation point, so for any more downside. So really now, just waiting for a correction, larger correction, and then definitely look for the buy. Um, on the H4, it's kept on going. We're still in this wave Y. Just remove that. So we got that W, X, Y. Be looking for an X2 and then a Z up. I'd be waiting for the correction before I start to buy this. You know? On the H1, we got, uh, we're got we getting this bearish divergence. So it really becomes, you know, for the sell, you want to break of the trend line and sell set up to sell. Um, the buyers, well, you, you can scalp it, um, you know, but you're really only scalping for the buyers now, now that we've got that bullish divergence. S&P 500. So we got the five down with bullish divergence. Um, this was looking corrective in here and we got a sharp move down. So I'll be looking for at least an ABC in here uh, before we get the larger ABC. H4, well, I've got it drawn on the H4, actually. we got an A, B, looking for a B, and then a C down, and then we're looking for upside. Pretty straightforward uh, structure, you know. Um, this is looking like a B wave. So, you know, go down to the H1. Again, I was actually looking. We... We got a nice impulse down here. I was just looking for a correction in here um, to sell. Instead, it's you know it's very sharp. It's very impulsive. So, on the lower time frames, you probably could scalp it. The buy um, on the lower time frames, you probably get a W X Y X two, and you could look for that wave Z up. Um, it may take off on you. That's the only really way you can trade it. Um, the sell now is pretty much non-existent. Um, you know, this I was looking for a correction, but this is looking motive. So, yeah, the sell is pretty much out of the question now. Um, AU two hundred on the daily. This was nice. We we had that. Uh, Nice setup a couple of weeks ago. I mentioned um, we got that one, two, three, four, five down. Nice impulse up. We got the 50 fib retrace, and there was a nice buy setup on it as well. If you've been following me for the last few couple of weeks, you would have seen that we got in down in here. Um, so 
really on the H4, there's really nothing. It's just really one wave. Um, on the H1 now, we're starting to get bearish divergence, you know. Um, so really, I'd like to see a larger correction and then look for the buy. Uh, the DAX on the daily. So we can still look at this as an expanding flat. Um, but yeah, it's not giving any cell setups. H4, we're getting that bearish divergence. Um, this one here, we got a nice impulse down. It's looking, starting to look corrective. And I was looking for another one down in here for the larger correction before we buy. Um, it's just taken off, you know. Now we got all that bearish divergence. So maybe something on the H1. H1, I'm still looking for another one up. By look, I'm looking for a W, X, Y, X2, and then a Z up. So really waiting for that correction. Before we buy. But again, you know, this is, if I just go down to the M15 quickly, you know, this is motive. A very ugly correction like this here, a very ugly correction and very deep. But we are getting a motive W, X, Y. So you could look for an X2 wherever this wave ends, look for the X2 and then a Z up. You may be able to get in on the lower time frames, flags and all the rest of it. So I hope you enjoyed the weekly outlook. If you did, please hit the like button and share. Help the channel out grow. Um, Enjoy your weekend and I'll see you out there next week.